what is up everybody so we are back with the project mud truck in today's video what we're going to be doing is going over not only the build plans for this we're actually going to be going over the actual area and purpose as to why we're going to be trying to build the truck that the way we are now when I say we're going to be building the truck a certain way it's going to be as cheap as possible but make it as usable as possible for the least amount of money to be able to accomplish what we are trying to accomplish with this build. It's not gonna be like a build that we're gonna go thoroughly, we're gonna fix all the rust, we're gonna make it super cool, super fancy, and everything's gonna be super professional, and it's gonna be a long-term mud project, and I'm gonna go to every mud event and everything. No, it's not the purpose of this truck. It's just gonna be a fun play truck. It's gonna be built to have fun with at our local property, and bury it basically in a river. I'll show you exactly where that's at. Before we do that, we gotta take this truck to get it dropped off to get some tent work done. So we can get that done because as you guys can see in the front glass, it's kind of like a, a fishbowl. So we're going to get that done. Then we're also going to take this off-road right now to test out that four-wheel drive. So anyways, guys, that is what we're going to be doing in today's upload. But also do not forget that you have only 15 days left to enter to win this truck, which is just about two weeks exactly. And then it is over every $15 you spend on hats, t-shirts, hoodies, keychains, decals, all that kind of stuff. Get to another entry to win. Do not miss out. Information in the description below. I haven't entered to win this truck yet. It is a beauty. Super good looking truck. Make sure it's in neutral there. Wait to start. Fires up like a champ. This thing is clean all around. Engine bay. I mean, underneath. I mean, it's just, it's just a nice truck. So anyways, we're gonna get this dropped off for tip work and then uh, make some content for that truck right there. So stay tuned, it's gonna be good. So I got my lovely fiance driving the first gen right now. And what do you think about this thing overall? Oh yeah, she's, she says she doesn't like how the seat leans because the, the floorboards are so rotted out that the seat brackets don't sit on level metal anymore. It's kinda like falling through the floorboard. But uh, it actually doesn't drive too bad. Sounds good. Shifts good. Dumps a lot of coal. Dumps a lot of coal. Well, we're gonna get off road here, and uh, we're gonna show you guys kind of like where we're gonna be mudding this truck, so you guys can understand what we're trying to do with it. And then next to where we're gonna try to mud, we're gonna tell you the build plans for the truck. So you can kind of understand what we're trying to do and why we're trying to do it in the exact location we're building this truck to sink in the water. We'll see you guys back here in just a second.
first attempt to use the four wheel drive on this truck and in four high without the hubs locked they pretty much it pretty much didn't hardly do anything in fact um, I don't think either of the fronts were spinning at all in four high I was actually getting stuck up there on the hill and then as soon as I got it over here I told her we're gonna back the rears into this mud pit and just see if when I gun it with the front hubs you know with the thing in low with the front hubs locked to see if it would actually you know lock in and grab and go and it did I mean it pulled it out of there now the only downside to this truck right now in the weight setup the tires are very low on tread and they're a very cheap mud terrain they're a master craft and they're very low on tread life so we're gonna go through the build plans for this truck the concept of it and why we're doing it a certain way and then hopefully you guys will understand and hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this project just as much as you have any of the other ones maybe even more my fiance got a little bit dirty she uh was hopping across the creek and may have slipped and fell into the mud a little bit but um it's gonna be fun it's gonna be cool are you excited about this having a four-wheel drive mud truck i thought you were gonna get stuck yeah i thought i was gonna get stuck if i'm being honest i thought i was gonna get stuck too but at least with a four-wheel drive if the rear spins a little bit as soon as you gun it pretty heavy the front locks up and it it'll move you in and out pretty darn good so as long as your axles aren't buried um you should be able to get this truck in and out of muddy places pretty easily the actual plans for this truck now keep in mind guys this is a cheap truck i bought this truck for four grand because the body's pretty rotted it's pretty bad the frame's pretty scaly but it's not cracked it's not got holes in it it's not bad the drivetrain the axles um, the engine everything runs really good the throttle kid you idles really low so if you gun it a lot and then you let off and that idle drops really low when you're actually in drive or reverse it does stall out a little bit here and there, but that's just because it idles so low, you hear, you feel it shake and then it just shuts off. Not really much of an engine problem or anything like that, it's just, it's a throttle and uh, the amount of fuel it's getting type of an issue. So in terms of tires on this truck, we're actually probably gonna go with a 30, I don't know, see I'm still thinking about that, but we wanna go with something aggressive. I was thinking about Swampers slash Boggers, you guys can let me know what you guys think, but I want it to be good enough to where we can get the truck in and out of this river over here with ease and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So we've got this river right here and right now it's actually pretty flooded so it's a lot deeper than it normally is but basically the concept of building this truck is to be able to make it so it's capable enough to go through something like this. Now I'll show you a little bit better I'm gonna get across the creek here. I'll show you a little bit better the view so basically if we're gonna mud in this river we're gonna drive right down into here and we're just gonna go off into the water and basically try to drive the truck out that direction and the reason why we're going to try to take the truck out that direction is because of the trees right there if i need to winch the truck out which i'm going to be buying a winch we have something to hook onto now there are opportunities to winch out if we have to um, but from reverse if we're at least stuck this direction we need to pull it out this way we can get a tractor right here something on this rock to actually be able to grab and go and pull the truck out if we absolutely have to but we're hoping we won't have to do that with the winch on the front of the truck. And that's gonna be the next thing I was gonna mention. Well, in terms of a winch on the front, we might actually have to get rid of the front bumper. And it's actually a pretty nice bumper, but I'm thinking about getting rid of the front bumper if possible and mounting the winch actually to the front cross member on the frame. And I'll try to show you guys what I'm talking about here. Most of you should know what I'm talking about. If you know anything about you know these trucks and trucks in general, there's a cross member up front here. And I'm thinking if I can find a uh, winch that I can just drill holes through that and bolt it up to that that would be great and just run a remote into the truck So we can get it in and out um, of deep sticky situations if need be now to make the tires fit If we're gonna do 35s or 38s or anything anything that big It's gonna need some modification now that modification is gonna be some cutting of the fenders And before anybody makes a big complaint about it the fenders already rusted out and on the inside and in the inner wheel well liners It's pretty bad it's pretty bad and so they're gonna need replaced anyways so what we're gonna do in the meantime is get rid of these flares and we're actually gonna cut the fenders back a little bit further in on the front since these are gonna be off we're gonna cut it almost to that light so that we can clear bigger tires no problem just gonna bend in those sharp edges so we don't cut any tires in case we have to get a little bit of a flex going with the truck and it rubs but other than that the back we're probably gonna leave alone probably not gonna need much cutting and uh, all that uh, all that to say, I think it's gonna be pretty cool. And since it needs a lot of new parts up there anyways in terms of panels and rockers and cap corners, I'm not that concerned about it. Now in terms of doing a hood stack, which was my original plan, and the reason I don't wanna do a hood stack is because if I do an aftermarket intake, which we're gonna to get to, 
Actually, Reagan, if you could pop the hood, I'm gonna open the hood and try to show them what I'm talking about. And I wanna do an intake that comes out the side of the panel here, and then it goes up, and then it goes up the side of the cab, and the intake is basically gonna sit up here. And the reason I'm gonna do that is so if we sink this thing into the water and the water you know, piles up under the wheel well liners or up into the engine bay, our intake is well out of the way from being in any kind of a, our intake is well out of the way from being any kind of an issue with interfering with other stuff. Now, in terms of the placement of that intake pipe and fishing it up there, what we might actually do is put the hole like here, and I know as funny as it sounds, with the hinge mouse and stuff right there, it would be pretty difficult to do that. So we might put the hole here with some PVC. We're gonna actually make our own intake and then run it so it's snug here with something threaded on each side to hold it up there to the panel. And then we're actually gonna run it straight back over here and then take that PVC and run it up a little bit and then fish it back up again up towards the top of the cab. It'll be custom, we're probably gonna paint it black or something, it'll be cool. Um, but it's gonna be cheap and effective and it's gonna get the job done for what we're trying to do with this truck. Um, now, like I said, guys, this is supposed to be cheap, fun, and just pure entertainment. The engine bay is a little bit dirty on the truck, but it doesn't spray oil and leave giant puddles. So I guess that's a, I guess that's a good thing. The reason I'm not gonna do the hood stack like I originally wanted to, I'll share that, and it's a very simple concept and a very simple answer. I don't want to have an intake up on the roof there that comes up there, and then I have a hood stack right here, and then it's shooting smoke and barreling smoke right into the intake, and then it's just sucking it right into your uh, turbo. So I think we're not gonna do the hood stack for that simple reason. If you guys have any uh, objections, let me know if you think there's any way I can get around it. But just for that reason alone, I don't think I'm gonna do it for that. After we're done with actually working on the truck, goal is to bring it over here and just test it out in as much mud as we possibly can after we get that winch on the front, like I said, and then just bury the freaking thing for some content. Be, it'll, be, it'll be really fun and really entertaining. Just hopefully we don't get the truck so stuck that we can't get it out of the river. But I'm hoping that with the winch, We've got chains here, we've got tractors and bulldozers and stuff here. Worst case scenario, I think we're gonna be able to get the truck out. Now, all said and done, after we make all that content, we have fun with this truck for the next two, three, four weeks. What we do with it, I don't know. Um, I might possibly sell it. I might possibly just gift it to somebody. I don't know, none of that is really set in stone. It's definitely not gonna be a giveaway truck. It's not that type of truck. I only do giveaways where people purchase stuff to enter if they're gonna be like super clean, nice condition trucks. Something like this, I wouldn't even consider. I would feel bad even if I gave it to somebody completely for free, no purchase necessary at all, like just gifted it to them, I would still feel a little bit bad because it's just rusted. And like, I personally, for a lot of people, that's an awesome, sweet truck, especially for a first truck. But for me, I just wouldn't want to give somebody something in that rough a condition just because I wouldn't want to drive it. And I feel like if I'm going to give somebody a truck, I should give them something that I would be happy to drive and call my own. But you know, everybody's different. Let me know what you guys think I should do with the truck in the comment section below when I'm absolutely done with it and I'm just ready to part with it. Um, should I gift it to somebody completely free, just pick a completely random person and gift them the truck with no cost, no strings attached, or just sell the truck and try to get out of it what I spent on it or what? What do you guys think I should do with it? Continue this video here and we're gonna actually go off-road searching for a little bit more mud. Forget to enter to win the 2002 24 valve dually the white truck go grab one of your favorite products whether it's a black on black hat any of the other hat options we have tons of them tons of t-shirts hoodies all kinds of stuff we have a clearance section of all the old stuff we used to sell just a lot of options and a lot of really good high quality 
very good, comfortable stuff. So if you guys wanna go check out those items, definitely do that. Grab a couple of your favorites, and every $15 that you spent will get you another automatic entry to win our white Dually 24 valve. Not this truck, but the one that you saw earlier in the video that's getting the tint. That truck could be yours. In approximately 15 days, that giveaway will be over. So thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Leave a fat thumbs up. Comment down below what you guys think about this truck and the plans for it. It's already decently capable the way that it's set up now, but it does need some tires with some actual tread. I'm thinking some bogger, some, I don't know, 35s, 37s, 38s. What do you guys think? We'll cut the fenders and make them fit. It'll be really fun. So thank you guys so much. Let me know what you think on the build plans in the comment section below, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.